All right, guys, hey, today we're going to be putting a new carburetor on this. I don't know what this is. What? I'm trying to find the top of this. I can't remember what mower this is. Um, oh, it's over here. This 21 inch cut yard machine, uh, 139cc. So, anyway, we're. Uh, Everything, the tank and everything looks surprisingly clean. So we're going to uh, put this carb on, put some fuel in there and try to start it. Now the original carb, I would have tried cleaning and fixing it, but these, you can see there is no float bowl. Um, so I just ordered a new carb rather than ordering a rebuild kit and a new float bowl, uh, just to maybe have the carb still not run. So here's the carb. So I'm I'm going to, I actually got this little phone tripod. Looks like a little octopus that uh, you can pretty much position it anywhere. So I'm gonna set this up and then start putting the carburetor back on. And a helpful tip guys, when you're doing this, taking carbs off, the, the linkage here is different on all of them, like different in a lot of different ways on different mowers, hooks up to different things. So. Take a picture of that before you take the carb off, unless you're just really familiar with that mower, like I am with this one. I did take a picture of it originally, but I don't need it now. So, just a helpful tip. I'm trying to get this on here. All right, I actually got it sitting on the mower deck. So, all right, you know, the carb bowl always, no matter what, the carb the bowl is always facing down no matter what and actually never mind I need to put this linkage on here before put that on there and I add that on this little spring goes on here one second all right and I'm going to put this one on it will not be finished today I still have to get a engine brake cable, a new one of those. But I'm gonna run out to Napa and get one of those in the next day or two. I was gonna go tomorrow, but it's Sunday, so I'm gonna wait till Monday to get it. But um, yeah. All right. Um, yeah, that cable works. All right. Now I'm going to install my fuel line. Just to help hold it on there a little better. Maybe I should have done that before I put the carburetor on. Who knows? Probably need to get a new fuel line or clip or whatever since that's that loose, but we'll fix that in a little bit. Alright, um, next thing to go on this thing which still has the gasket on it yeah, if we need a new gasket I will replace it I have, like, I have a lot of gasket material all right um, another thing I'm gonna have to do guys before I sell this thing yeah that's what I do I fix them fix these up and sell them but um another thing I have to do is get a new air filter for this thing and a new air filter cover which I may have another Lawnmowers I have here. I got a bunch of them at the shop. At this shop. All right. I already tested this thing. It does have spark, so we don't have to get into replacing the coil or any of that. All right. Now, yeah. Let me get my socket. camera down so I can 
do it with two hands. Let me go a little quicker. I just want to make this clear, guys. I am by no means an expert. A lot of you guys watching this probably know more than me. So, I'm learning. I've been doing this for about a year or so now. But, um... It's been working out so far. I've made quite a bit of money doing it. Just fixing them. Some people, a lot of people are just giving me the mowers. And... Stuff like that. Along that, those lines. So we got, like I said, I have this, the, this cables on here, but the uh, engine brake cable is actually detached because I got a new one. It's all rusted up and won't work. So I'm going to have to pull the engine brake off. Or not off, just use some kind of clamp to hold this back while we try to start it. Yeah, hold on, let me get a clamp over here, guys. This is my actual four-wheeler I'm working on here. I got the axle off right now. And I don't want to make this a super long video, but... And like I said, this is my first video, so try and cut me some slack. Voila. All right, um, need to get some fuel. Right, I'm actually going to wrap this thing around handlebars up here. Give you a good view as that junk pile we still haven't cleared out from when we moved here. But um, the rest of the shop is mostly freed up so far for me doing this stuff. All right, so we're gonna add in some fuel. I'm actually gonna hop up on the table. And the gas can looks like it <laughs> never even had fuel in it. it. Looks spotless. That's not good. There's fuel leaking out over here. Oh, I should have already fixed. Ain't that wonderful? Yeah, well, there's fuel leaking out all over the deck right now. Because I never clamped down that hose. And I can get the fuel on. I'm gonna take this thing back off. So give me a second, guys. And I will get this fuel cleaned up. Start this thing up without catching the entire thing on fire now. Do this. 
So the original carburetor is a little bit of a bigger hose connection piece, so I'm gonna have to get a stronger clamp without letting all this fuel spill everywhere. So hold on guys. Let me pause the video and I will get right back to you guys. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I fixed that leak. Um, we're just kind of trying to flash start this mower now. Um, yeah, let's see if it works. All right, guys, well, it started and it, as you can see, ran fine. Um, I only problem is the kill switch didn't work. So I let that off and nothing happened. So we're gonna have to fix that. Um, could be, so this electrical wiring is not like it needs to be, but, um, yeah, it, it ran quite well actually, so we gotta fix that. Um, I'll figure out what's the problem, what the deal is with that. Get a new throttle cable, the other one's right here. Or not throttle cable, um, engine brake cable. Um, we'll change the oil on it, get this oil. Looks, I'll oh, see, so yeah, I don't know. Doesn't look terrible, we may, we may leave the oil on that one, but. Yeah, so. I have another video coming up pretty soon. I'll be putting, replacing the starter on that four-wheeler. That four-wheeler right there is actually pretty darn similar to a player scrambler, so. If anyone wants to know how to change the starter on a scrambler, pretty much the same with that. It's actually pretty much the same with all smaller four wheelers. But um, yeah, I'll uh, get the parts in for that, and I'll have videos of me putting those on. Just the, uh, I guess I won't do one for the air filter because that's pretty simple. I just throw it on there. But um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed my first video. There'll be more coming, and uh, definitely hoping to get better at doing the videos. But, um, yeah, and she thanks for watching.